I'm baffled. I'm absolutely baffled. It's 2019, and Theo Walcott for Everton is scoring a 4-0 victory against Manchester United. What is going on, guys? It is JJ here, back with another Premier League footballing video, and today we are we are here with a good one. Um, simply because we are going to take a look at the Everton versus Manchester United uh, match. I hope you guys had a good Easter weekend. Uh, it's Easter here in the United States. I'm not sure if it's a national or worldwide holiday. I, th I think pretty sure it is. Uh, um, but yeah, other otherwise, I hope you guys had a good holiday. I, I tried to take the day off uh, from you know from recording videos just to spend some time with family and stuff like that. And so, so I wasn't able to make a reaction video yesterday for this video or for this match rather. And I wish I would have because Everton, Everton have been kind of hot, you know, Everton, they beat Chelsea, they beat Arsenal, and now they beat Manchester United, and all I can, all I can say is wow, wow, that's all I can say to this, so we're going to take a look at some of the highlights uh, from the Everton versus Manchester United match, um, just to, I, we just need to soak this in while we can, soak it in before Manchester United buy every good player in the summer. So let, let's let's take a look at the Everton versus Man U match in the Premier League 2018-19 season. As well as you can find the original video just down in the description below. Everton, Manchester City, Chelsea. Responsibility from the left flank for Everton. Good day. It's Richarlison. <laughs> that is, that was solid goalkeeping. It's a decent long throw, good trajectory as well. That was not so solid goalkeeping. Richarlison, my guy. I guess, I guess there's not really much that Hale can do there, but he's just kind of a bystander. That was a rocket. That was a banging goal. Shouts out to you, Richarlison. You, you were on it. That is a beautiful, that is such a beautiful hit. De Gea did like he couldn't do anything. Why, why would you put your hands down? Was that Rashford going for that from 40-something yards out? My face, what, that... I understand he's got a mat, he's got a wicked boot, like it's powerful, but it's not that powerful, man. But he's taking it on again. Oh, oh De Gea. David De Gea. You get that is so far out. This is the best goalkeeper in the world, guys. Um some of this stuff you can't really blame him for. Like I I I, I don't really see that as a blaming De Gea. Like obviously he should be able to get there, but it's not a huge deal if he doesn't. Uh, because there's no defenders that are there to cover for him. So, like, how are you going to blame him when he's taking shots on like this and there's no defender in the middle to even try to block the shot? Um, yeah, Manchester United, they need new defenders. They, they, they might be the team that's suffering the most by not having new defenders. Like, even Arsenal have, have found a way to sort of make do with, with Socrates and Mustafi and Koscielny and... Like, I would I would take the Arsenal defense over Manchester United. Like it's it's unreal. Oh my goodness, De Gea. Okay, now now we can start blaming De Gea because he did not move. He didn't even move. None of the Manchester United guys even moved as well. Did ye though? My guy, I've been saying one of the best left backs of this season in the Premier League. Definitely one of the best buys. Because, uh, like, he's. He, I, I would have him at Chelsea. I would happily have him at Chelsea. I'm not going to lie to you. Look, look at that. Look at that. That is unreal. And De Gea is just left standing still. Like, he's just, he's just, he stood solid on the ground. But because he has no one to help. Like, that, there, there, is a, there is a wide open gap between Lukaku and Rashford there for the ball perfectly to land. I'm baffled. I'm absolutely baffled. It's 2019, and Theo Walcott for Everton is scoring a 4 0 victory against Manchester United. 
I don't know what to say to that. Uh, I'm actually, I'm very happy. I'm really happy. I mean, as a Chelsea supporter, I have to be happy for it because, you know, now Chelsea are confirmed above Manchester United. Like, we're all set on games. Chelsea obviously played Burnley, uh, what would be today. Um, but, my goodness. Yeah, yeah. The, yeah. Pfft. Completely outclassed. Completely outplayed. How, how do you? Where do you go from this for Manchester United? Like you have the Manchester derby on Wednesday, and you just got blown out by Everton. I know. I know. Obviously, United are going to step up to the occasion, but my mind is kind of blown right now. Um. But yeah, if you're an Evertonian, uh, if you're an Everton fan. Enjoy this, guys. Enjoy this. I know the battle for seventh is still raging on uh, with the European spots possibly up for grabs in it. So I hope that that works out well um, for all the Everton you know, fans out there. Um, they've been a really, really good team, I feel like, for, especially in the m months of March and April. They've been fantastic. Uh, but let me know your guys' thoughts on the match in the comments below. What would you guys do to fix Manchester United? Who would you buy? What would you do for the manager? Like, what, like, what do you guys do? Uh, but yeah, let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Thank you guys so much for watching. Peace.